Well, hello there. Consider this. Every single day, we create more than 300 million terabytes of new information. Whoa. It's like trying to count every grain of sand on every beach and then doing it again tomorrow. It's a mind-boggling amount, a true data explosion, and you are a part of it. Every time you send a text, watch a video online, use a map app to find the quickest way to school your fitness watch counts your steps. You are creating data. So what is this stuff we call data? Think of data as tiny individual facts, a number like the temperature outside, a word like the name of your favorite song, a picture you take with your phone, a sound like a bird chirping. But when you gather millions and millions of these little facts from all sorts of places, you start to see something incredible. You start to see patterns. For instance, many people searching for umbrella in a city, you can guess it might be raining there. We aren't dealing with a little bit of information anymore. We are swimming in an ocean of it. Big data is information that is so large that it comes at us so fast and that it is so varied in its forms, so we can't just use one single computer to handle it. It's like trying to drink the whole ocean with one tiny straw. To handle big data, we need many powerful computers working together. The goal isn't a single fact like the price of one apple. The goal is prices of millions of apples sold in thousands of stores over several years. From that huge picture, we discover patterns. When apples are cheapest, which city loves green apples most? We use patterns to make better guesses about the future. It's about understanding and predicting. Historical mass data gives clues about what's happening now. For example, millions searching flu symptoms can signal an outbreak. Even better, we can predict what might happen next. That lets us make smarter choices. A city might change stoplight timing to prevent jams before they start. The ability to understand, predict, and act, understand, predict, act, is incredibly powerful. Big data can make things more efficient, which can save a lot of time. It can reduce waste, which can save a lot of money. It can help doctors improving vehicle and aircraft safety and ultimately saving lives. It's a tool to solve big and small challenges in new ways. Science in action on a global scale. You might be wondering, where is all this big data coming from? Is there a giant data factory somewhere? Not exactly. The amazing thing is, it comes from almost everywhere and everything in our modern world. Your smartphone is a little data generating powerhouse. Every app you use, every photo you take, every website you visit. Online shopping sites keep track of what you look at and what you buy. The credit or debit cards we use to pay for things generate a record of our purchases, telling a story about our habits and needs. But it's not just our personal gadgets. Our cities are becoming smarter by using data. Buses, trains, some cars, cameras, and sensors on streets can monitor traffic flow and check air quality. In the countryside, farms are using new technology to generate data too. Drones fly over fields to see which crops need more water. Soil sensors measure moisture. Soil sensors measure nutrients. This helps farmers grow more food with fewer resources. It's a high-tech harvest. Hospitals and healthcare tools are another huge source of data. Digital health records, fitness trackers monitoring heart rates. This data can help doctors spot health issues earlier and provide better care. Looking up at the sky, weather stations collect data, satellites collect data. All this data helps meteorologists predict the weather more accurately, so you know whether to pack a raincoat or sunscreen for your trip. Before we go any further, let's make sure we're all speaking the same language. Think of this as your secret decoder ring for the world of data. Data. Small individual facts like a number, like a word, like a picture data set. A collection of related data like a spreadsheet of student grades or a folder full of cat photos, algorithm. Step-by-step -step instructions a computer follows, like a recipe for baking a cake model. A tool often built with an algorithm that uses data to find patterns and make predictions or decisions. Privacy. Your fundamental right to keep personal information safe. Think of health information or your home address. Bias. A serious problem when a data model is unfair and consistently makes worse decisions for certain groups. For example, a hiring model trained on data from a company that only hired men in the past might unfairly prefer male candidates. We must always be on the lookout for bias to make sure our data tools are fair for everyone. There you have it. Now you're ready to explore how this all works in the real world. So as you can see, big data isn't coming from just one place. It flows from our pockets, our homes, our cities, our farms, and even from space. You might think big data is something that only scientists in white lab coats or giant tech companies use, but the truth is, you probably use it every single day without even realizing it. It's working behind the scenes to make your life easier, safer, and more fun. Do you use a map app on your phone to get around? 
When you're driving, your phone anonymously shares your speed and location. The app combines this with data from thousands of other drivers to see the big picture of traffic. This is how your map app can magically spot a traffic jam and suggest a faster route, saving you time and fuel. Streaming services for movies and music are another perfect example. When you watch a show or listen to a song, the service takes note of what you like, what you skip, what you watch all the way to the end. It uses an algorithm to analyze these choices from millions of users. Then, its model predicts what other shows or songs you might enjoy and recommends them. That's how it seems to know your taste in movies so well. Online shopping is powered by big data. When you browse a website for a new pair of sneakers, the store system looks at what you click on, what you add to your cart, what you end up buying. It uses this data to show you other items you might like. It also helps the store predict how many pairs of those sneakers they should order for next season so they don't run out or have too many left over. This makes shopping more convenient for you and more efficient for the business. Even your health can be improved with big data. A fitness watch can track your daily steps, your sleep patterns, your heart rate. Over time, this data can show you trends in your health. In hospitals, doctors can use data from many patients, while keeping it private and secure of course, to spot the early signs of a disease or figure out which treatments work best for different kinds of people. The real magic of big data isn't just about recommending movies, it's about solving huge real-world problems. When we use it wisely, its power to do good is truly awesome. One of the biggest benefits is making things faster and more efficient. Think about a city's public transportation system. By analyzing data from bus sensors and train sensors, city planners can figure out which routes are always crowded and which are nearly empty. They can add more buses during rush hour and redesign routes to serve more people, getting everyone where they need to go with less waiting. Big data can also help us protect our planet. On farms, sensors in the soil and drones in the air can tell a farmer which part of a field is too dry or has pests. Instead of watering the entire farm, they can give water only to the thirsty plants. This saves enormous amounts of precious water and helps us grow more food on less land. Data from weather satellites helps us track climate change, predict powerful storms like hurricanes earlier, and plan how to protect our communities from floods or wildfires. Safety is another area where big data is a game changer. Airplanes and high-speed trains are covered in thousands of sensors that constantly monitor the health of every part. By analyzing it, engineers can predict when a part, like an engine component, is starting to get worn out. They can then replace it before it breaks. Perhaps most importantly, big data has the potential to make our world healthier. By studying vast anonymous data sets from millions of people, scientists can discover new connections. This can speed up the discovery of new medicines and treatments. During a health crisis, analyzing data on how an illness is spreading can help officials make quick, life-saving decisions about where to send supplies and medical staff. Now with great power comes great responsibility. While big data can do a lot of good, it also has a flip side with serious risks. The biggest concern is privacy. A lot of the data being collected is about you, where you go, what you buy, what you search for, even your health. If this personal information isn't kept safe, it could fall into the wrong hands. You should have the right to know what data is collected and the power to say yes or no. Another huge risk is bias. A model is only as good as its data. If the data reflects past prejudices, the model will become biased. Example, a loan decision model for a bank. Trained on historical data when fewer loans went to women, it might learn to deny loans to qualified women today. That creates a cycle of unfairness. Then there's data leaks and hacks. So much information stored in one place becomes a target for cyber criminals. Hackers might try to steal personal data, financial information, company secrets. That's why data security matters. Protect it with strong digital locks and keys, like locking the door to your house. A single big leak can affect millions. Finally, data can be used the wrong way. Helpful tools can be repurposed to harm. Facial recognition could track people without consent. Pricing algorithms could charge some people more than others. We need clear rules and laws, and a human expert in the loop, so high-stakes decisions are made ethically and fairly. So, how can we enjoy the amazing benefits of big data while avoiding the risks? It's all about being thoughtful and responsible. It's like being a good scientist in a lab. You need a clear plan and a strong set of safety rules. First, start with your purpose. Be clear about the question or problem. This avoids collecting data you don't need. 
Second, collect only the minimum data necessary. Example, count people at a bus stop, you don't need names or addresses, just count the people. Third, get consent when you need personal data. Explain what you're collecting, why, and ask permission. Fourth, protect the data you collect, store it securely, use strong passwords and encryption, restrict who can access it. Fifth, clean and test your data and models. Clean the data, remove errors and noise, test the model, validate predictions. Most important, check for fairness. Test for unfair results across groups. If you find bias, fix it or stop using the model. Be transparent about your methods. Don't keep practices secret when they affect people's lives. Remember, data gets old. Plan to delete data when it's no longer needed. Follow these rules to build trust and use data for good. The power of big data lies in its ability to give us a clearer, smarter, and safer path forward. By putting people first, we can build technologies that serve all of humanity and create a more just, equitable world for everyone. We've been on quite a journey. We've seen that we live in a world overflowing with data, tiny facts that tell the story of our lives and our planet. Big data is just a massive collection of these facts, so big and fast it takes special tools to understand. We've decoded key terms, algorithm model, and we've seen these tools at work in daily life, maps on our phones, shows we stream at home. It's not science fiction, it's science fact. Big data can solve big challenges, making our cities smarter, our farms more productive, our planet healthier, and our lives safer. This power finds hidden patterns and makes better predictions, an exciting tool for our generation. It gives us a new way to look at the world, to ask questions, to find answers once impossible to reach. The possibilities are as vast as the data itself, waiting for curious minds like yours. But we've also learned to be cautious. We must be responsible guardians of this power. Protecting privacy, fighting bias, ensuring data is used ethically are not afterthoughts. They're the most important parts of the job. Every person working with data has a duty. Is this fair? Is this safe? Is this kind? By putting people first, we can build technologies that serve all of humanity and create a more just, equitable world for everyone. And now it's your turn. You don't need to be a math genius or a computer whiz. All you need is curiosity. Start asking questions about the world around you. When you see a chart or a statistic, ask where the data came from. Think about the data you create every day and how it might be used. The future isn't something that happens to us. It's something we build together. Be curious, be critical, be creative. Use big data with care and with hope and explore what's possible. Let's change the world. Your turn to be a data explorer. It's a constant, massive stream of information that reflects nearly everything we do. The challenge and the opportunity is to learn how to listen to what it's telling us. From finding your way through town to finding your new favorite band, Big Data is already your helpful sidekick. We've seen how Big Data can make things more efficient, reduce waste, help doctors, improve safety, and ultimately save lives. It's a tool to solve big and small challenges in new ways. Science in action on a global scale. The power of big data lies in its ability to give us a clearer, smarter, and safer path forward.